a reward. I mean, our energy converter was pretty fire. Truth. You think it's still on display at the Science Center? Hope so. Wow. <laughs> Look at us. Goober Central. <laughs> Rig looking suave as ever, though. Yeah. Something going on with him? You guys fight or something? No. No fight. Finn. It's fine. Why do we really lose touch? Crap, now I'm late. I gotta go. Hey, I feel like we both have stuff we're not sharing. Next time we hang, no secrets. Okay? Yeah. Mm, maybe. If you're on time. See you soon, short stuff. <laughs> you know I'm taller than you now, right? Not in here. Shorter than I thought. We've got the fountain hooked up to that hoist. Ready to move. Monster fountain. Lodi. can do better. Unlike my opponents, I live in the districts, and I listen to the people who call it home. I want Harlem to be as vibrant and safe as it was while I was growing up here. Roxanne Plaza was built on the current leadership's watch. That alone should make anyone think twice about voting for him. We agree on that. Switching gears a bit, you're a full-time science teacher. What made you want to jump into politics? It's really about loving my home and wanting to fight for it. During Martin Lee's attack on City Hall, my husband gave his life to protect others. I want to honor his memory by fighting for my neighbors and friends the best way I know how. Good luck in the polls, and thank you for being on the show. Dana fans, you can join an AMA with Candidate Morales on my blog for the next hour. Until next time, remember to set one minute per hour aside for deep, meditative breathing. Helps you clear your head. Okay, bye! Internet, be out of stars. Well, Bingo. <laughs> Time capsule should be out on those pylons. Finn was fearless hopping off those back in the day. Thank you. 
for Mocha right about now. Nice. I want to get a time capsule in this cave. The place still gives me the creeps. campaign today. Those people don't quit. They're annoying me too. School graduation was bittersweet. Finn loved these scratch art pads. Said it reminded her that no matter what something looked like on the surface, there was always more going on underneath. Finn upgraded her swim goggles with sonar and a heads-up display. She never could stand losing to anyone, especially me. After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. We gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn. <laughs> Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird and kind of cool. Concert tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a t-shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad though. Mom made this piquet hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, 
it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Finn was always checking out books before she finished her last ones. She even grabbed mine when I wasn't looking. Said it kept her brain sharp. Got the tour Oscorp in eighth grade. Finn was way skeptical. Said that they were gonna destroy New York one day. Devil's breath almost proved her right. Oh, football league. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. Got this on a field trip to a Wakandan Design Group Expo. Finn saw all the tech on display and shouted, I want to be an engineer. <laughs> Guess it's stuck. Oh,